Hey everybody and welcome to the first look of the Pelican from Beyond. Beyond, the name I sat next to the uh, marketing manager last night, is all about being on. So uptime is the central focus of the people producing this vehicle behind us. Uh, initial thoughts, not a bad looking van at the front. Uh, lots of initial thoughts around this side door, mind you, uh, that comes out and up. Hmm, not sure about that one. Um, and I know that this is a pre-production vehicle and things may change. But let's get into it and have a little look around. So the guys at Beyond, or the artist formerly known as Street Scooter, yes, this is the brand that used to be Street Scooter. They came up with this new name about being on, as I just said, um, are bringing a vehicle that is all electric. So it will not have a diesel counterpart. Uh, this is focused fully on zero emission deliveries. So as you know, I like to focus on the practicalities of any van coming to market because if it's not fit for purpose, you can't buy it. It would be crazy. So does it work for you? Well, you've got a nice big square load space, 7.1 cubic meters, or in their words, 250 of your Amazon's average size parcels. Yes, indeed. Now, how many of them can you put in there in terms of weight? Well, in the 43 kilowatt hour version of the battery, you can put in uh, 1,397, I think it is, kilos. And then in the slightly bigger battery, you lose about 100 kilos, so 1,290 kilos. So that is a pretty decent weight for a medium-sized van. Certainly, the issue around weight is definitely not going to be a problem here. I like the fact that the doors go all the way round and there is a clip at the side to lock them. I'm not sure about the clip. I prefer a magnet or something that you can just push in and push and pull out, but it's, it's there nonetheless to protect it. But I like the fact that it goes nice and square and leaves um, uh, your ability to get right up to the, the rear bumper, um, but also not have those doors out there for ready to be caught by the wind and things. Excellent. Now, the thing that's really unusual about this van is this side door. I'm not sure about it. So there you go. It's now open and that's not got any kind of lift. It just, well, it could drop down. Again, pre-production model, things may change. But once I'm up on the curb, I'm getting very close to that. And I'm a bit of a short ass. So, you know, it's not exactly um, going to be perfect for the, the multi-drop kind of scenarios that these vehicles might be in. Um, also, you know, there's always going to be a temptation, although I believe that that is going to change. Um, but getting in and out, um, it, it's a reasonable space, but we've got these struts here as well. So there's a number of things that may well yet still change because the great thing about this event uh, is beyond want to get feedback on every aspect of the vehicle. So we've had some great people here kind of pulling the vehicle apart and giving that feedback without too much filter. Hmm. Yes, we give feedback direct. So what about how far it will go, right? That's the question we all ask. How far will it go? Well, in the 43, bat 43 kilowatt hour battery, easy for me to say, you will get around about 140 miles, 226 kilometers. Uh, it goes up to 279 kilometers, which is about another 20 or 30 miles um, in, the, uh, in the bigger battery version, the 54 kilowatt hour battery. But remember, if you go for the bigger battery version, you lose a bit of payload. So is that enough? I hope so it'll cover many, many of the use cases that this vehicle is aimed at, particularly that parcel delivery sector, 80, 100 miles a day, absolutely in the sweet spot there. So now I'm gonna go and take this vehicle out for a spin around the roads of Spain. So the first driving experience of the Beyond Pelcon. That's a name to get used to, isn't it? But it does seem pretty simple and straightforward, which is, of course, a trait of electric vehicles. Good pickup, um, although there is a bit of travel on the accelerator pedal that you need to get used to. There are two spec levels, and I'm in the lower spec level, and the, the lower spec level doesn't come with the controls on the steering wheel. 
Um, that for me would be something that I would like to see on across all models because it's a safety feature. Um, other than that, it's simply laid out. This is a vehicle that has been built with a job in mind. Uh, get a job done, keep it simple, and go forward. So, you know, at the right price point, this vehicle will meet a definite need within the marketplace. Um, you've got air conditioning as standard. You've got everything that you basically need. However, electric mirrors, they're not available on this particular vehicle. Um, whether it becomes a factory option or not, I don't know, but that would be a recommendation for me. Other than that, there's a couple of things around the cabin, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Initial impressions, definitely something that could be considered for many a use case. So a couple of other simple facts about this vehicle. It comes fitted as standard with telematics and they promise a, a great ecosystem surrounding the vehicle around energy management, batteries to store energy for you. Um, it will have preconditioning on the larger battery so you'll be able to warm the battery before you go out, um, warm the vehicle and cool the vehicle with vehicle preconditioning as well, maximizing the range of the uh, battery and the, the vehicle as a whole. Um, I'm a little disappointed in the lack of controls on the steering wheel as I mentioned on the drive, um, but the cab's reasonably well laid out and of course a nice infotainment screen there. Um, all will do a pretty decent job. I haven't checked on Apple CarPlay, but I'm sure it will be there, and I'll tell you yes or no right here. Um, I'm curious to see how the market reacts to this vehicle. Um, it's come a long way from the early days of street scooter. Has it come far enough? Let's see. So that's a wrap on my time with the Beyond Pelcan. Um, it's got some challenges, yeah, the side door I'm not quite convinced about. There is uh, some internal specification issues, um, but they've kept it simple. I think it's pretty good looking. Uh, it drives well, it's comfortable, and it's simple. Good payload, 13, nearly 1400 kilos. Uh, range of up to 170 miles. Is that enough? Not sure, maybe, uh, but certainly for many a use case, it will be, of course. So if they solve a few of those issues and deal with uh, bringing it to market effectively and delivering on their promise of uptime, which is keeping that vehicle on the road, doing the job that it's designed to do, then that is gonna be more than enough for many operators. So. Get along to the commercial vehicle show uh, in the next few days. Uh, see the vehicle, feel the vehicle, drive the vehicle, and all the additional details around charging speeds and all of those good things, little specifications, price. We're assured that it will be very competitive, but on that bombshell, as Mr. Clarkson always used to say, I will leave you to contemplate the Beyond Pelkin. Have a great day, everybody. 